So the thermistor needs a little bit of construction before I can uh, put it onto the nozzle. So here's the thermistor itself, tiny little copper wire thing with a glass enclosure on the end and a sensor at the very tip. I've got two pieces of insulation and wire and pins for the Molex. The first step is to slide on the little pieces of insulation onto the wires of the thermistor. This is very, this is like threading a needle or worse and uh, it's a little bit difficult but keep at it because it uh, does go on there. There we go. Just got to get it lined up right and then it'll go on. These are pretty well sized exactly. No need to trim anything, either the wire or the insulation. Slide it all the way down. Okay, so I've got it all the way on both pieces. So I've got a little bit of wire sticking out of the end, just a little bit. So that's just like the wires, the uh, leads for the heat core. I'm going to feed it onto the pin far enough that the back crimp will. Uh, hold on to the insulation and then um, the wire is going to extend and get crimped by this, the forward p crimps. So just going to go right in there. It's a little bit, a little bit tricky. Needle nose pliers get in here and I found that rolling this in seems to be the best trick for getting this crimped right. So I'm going to roll it a little bit and apply a little bit of pressure. And that's pretty good right there. And squeeze it down. And then do the other one, roll it in. That one's not going to want to roll so well. Let's double check to make sure I got the insulation all the way in there before I crimp this down. All right, fold that back one over and crimp it down. Takes a little bit of finagling. I have I squeeze it together and then crimp it down and then squeeze it together and crimp it down. So you're trying to form kind of a circle all the way around there. It doesn't want to be a circle. It doesn't want to be a ring. All right, I'm happy with that. That's on there pretty good. Not coming out. Now I'm gonna crimp the front, roll that in there. So I'm applying a little bit of pressure and rotating the pliers around the crimp. All right, I'm gonna go the other way.
taking a little bit of advantage of the uh, teeth that are on this need on these needle nose. Okay, squeeze it together. All right, it's on there good. Take it off, do the next one. All right, so to build the thermistor, I've taken the little thermistor and I've added the two pieces of insulation and then the pins, male pins, on the end of the wire. So I have the insulation crimped with the back crimp and then the wire itself, bare wire, uh, protruding uh, onto the metal and crimped with the front crimps. So now I need to touch them up with a bit of solder to secure them in place. Perfect. That looks great. I think. All right. One down, one to go. All right, near as I can tell, that's just honky dory. Now I'm going to stick it into this end of the Molex. Push it in there until the pins click. Hmm. where you find out if you got too much solder. Or perhaps I have too wide a crimp. Alright, this one should go in there just fine. Hard to say, but it looks like I got it in there. How about there we go. Now we're getting it. Just needs a little bit convincing. Heard the pins clip. I think uh, I think I'm good to go. Alright, there's the thermistor that's going to get attached to the nozzle. Now I've got these black wires that are meant to go onto the other pins and then to go to the uh, electronics. But these wires are pretty short and uh, 
I'm going to have to use something else, I think, to get all the way back to the circuit board, back to the computer. All right, so probably going to use uh, something like speaker wire or some other kind of wire uh, that I've got laying around here, something that's flexible and um, will uh, take some wear and tear. Also, something to hold uh, to... Uh, that can take the current. I'm not exactly sure how much current goes through here, but anyway, thermistor done. Now it's time to attach this to the nozzle.